Nigerians blast Reverend Mbaka after DJ Adeyuju posted this about him. <laughs> oh my God. Frankly speaking, eh, religion leaders are part of the problems we are facing in this country. You know, many citizens tend to trust and believe uh, uh, most of these pastors, reverend fathers, fans, and all that. <laughs> Nigerians blast reverend father Mbaka after DJ Adeiju posted this about him. Reverend Father AJK Mbaka is a popular Nigerian pastor, a spiritual father, and the director of the Adoration Ministry in Enugu. Recently, an human rights activist, Comrade DJ Adeiju, took to his social media handle to remind Nigerians on the prophecy the clergyman prophesied some years back. Recall in 2015, Father Mbaka campaigned for President Muhammad Buhari where he stated in a video that Nigeria's prayer has been answered and Buhari is the God-answered prayer. Ever since everything in the country began to turn upside down, many Nigerians have been blasting the Reverend Father for his first and misleading revelations. Syrian or more reactions over the Clerkman's prophecy during the NSAS protest. Mokri said people of God prayer from here and there God answered God answered our prayers and gave us Buhari. God has told us that Buhari is a prayer answered. Reverend Father AJK Mbaka, where are you? Comrade DJ Comrade DJ Adeiju recently reminds Nigerians that the pastor's revelation again. See what he said. He said, Father Mbaka once said, Buari is God's answered prayers for Nigerians. After he made this post, see what Nigerians are saying. Olusola said, Father Mbaka is now working with Naira uh, Beds, predicting for them every weekend okay one love peace said the spirit that spoke to him that time drank 10 cups of pan wine okay someone said that yeah, all these men of god should just shut up and stop giving false prophecy i just the verse for i am a catholic that guy they make me verse so many reactions by nigerian someone said there yeah, i wish Mbaka can read the tweets here. He will know whether he was speaking the mind of God or of his own. At that time, I hope he is enjoying the calamities Nigerians are passing through. Okay, one Stanley Goodluck said, yeah, he's just a Yahoo guy. Uh, he goes to whenever, he goes to whosoever gave him money. Peter will be refused to give him more or get built or gets built into making adoration, obviously, Buhari did. Okay, someone said that that means that God wanted Nigerians to undergo several punishments now. A wo, someone said here, a wo, everybody, na criminal. I don't mention name here. See, his prophecy really made uh, some people to have full trust on Buhari before the whole system changed. I want to say something here. If someone is not in spirit, you can never understand the words of the spirit. If prophets landed on your head that you will be a rich man and you do not work towards getting rich, then tell me how you will get rich. That is the case of Buhari. Buhari surrounded himself with evil-minded politicians and God left him and he fed. You understand? Because I remember... All the song he was singing, how he changed this and that. But he surrounded him, he surrounded himself with evil people. People that will say white, they will call it black. They can never tell him the truth. They can never tell him the real thing that is happening. That is just the problem we are facing. Okay, someone said that Catholics are not known for prophecy, but for Reverend Fadambaka, I don't really understand. Okay, Father Mbaka did not hear from Jesus Christ. He had and spoke for demonic entity where he belongs. 
He is one of the fake and false prophets of this country. His reward is waiting for him. As you can see, Nigerians are really angry with him. Okay, someone said, yeah, this is for those be this is for those who believed him. As for me, I don't see him as a pastor or reverend father. Not only that, he said that Jonathan is a bad luck to Nigeria, that he met Yaradua. He died. He met our Oye. He, first, he met our money. I don't really get that. Okay, when Chibok, okay, I can't really, I'm struggling to get that. Okay, someone said, yeah. So, in your myopic sense, Buari isn't a messiah as of today. If God did not bring person like Buari, you couldn't have lived that place that you are renting because economy could have completely crumbled insecurities that started under PDP like Boko Haram would have taken over the whole country by today. In, in fact, the government would not see money to subside President Buari, even pay salaries, talk less of building Second Niger Bridge or Lagos Ibadan Road and railways and so many other projects that is going on with little earnings. Take it or leave it. That man is our Messiah sent by God Almighty. So Mbaka was right. You are just, uh, DJ, you are just being stupid here. Okay. Okay, someone said there, yeah, touch not my anointing and do my prophets know her. Huh? My, the way you talk, DJ, because God is watching you. Okay, someone said there, yeah, Mbaka remains an ordained man of God. And his words on Buari in 2015 we are correct. If you like, if you like, take it or leave it. <music>